Hello and welcome everyone. This is a great opportunity to be here and share more knowledge about embedded electronics. Thanks for being here and let's get started. What if you knew a secret to catching many bugs in your C code that are currently going unnoticed? By default, the C compiler will happily compile a program that has obvious bugs. You can see by yourself after implementing what I'm about to tell you. The C compiler such as GCC has over time accumulated many compiler flags for reporting warnings about code which are not enabled by default because enabling them by default would be would make it impossible to compile legacy code that just wouldn't pass the restrictions that these warnings put on the code. You can try this for yourself. Uh, add the flags that I'm about to show you to your programs or to some other project and uh, just see if it will compile. Many of these flags can be relevant in some cases uh, and can be very useful in other cases. What I would suggest you do is uh, read through the GCC flags, which are documented on the warning, warning flags page uh, of the GCC documentation and pick the ones that you think are relevant for you. Uh, the ones that I have on my screen here, these flags are relevant for what I'm doing and uh, I have them always enabled in all the projects that I'm working on. I'll do a quick uh, overview of the flags that I'm using uh, so that you get an idea of what they mean. And uh, after you watch this video, you can go to the GCC documentation page and uh, read the descriptions of all the flags. Now, the first thing uh, I would suggest that you enable is the W all, uh, W extra, and W error. Uh, all will enable uh, many flags, but not all of them. Uh, in fact, in the documentation, you can see which flags are enabled. Uh, they are uh, basically, you can uh, get warnings about uh, addressing arrays out of bounds, um, having uh, char subscripts. Uh, for example, if you have a char and not an unsigned char, you could have a char uh, type hold a negative number, and uh, you would then use that as an index in an array and uh, you would get weird results because you're using a native number to index the array. Uh, all of these things are uh, just not warned about if you, unless you're using these flags. So if you compile your program without enabling uh, these, these flags, you, you will not know that these problems exist in your code. And this is why it's very interesting to uh, just enable all the flags and see if you can compile an existing program. Uh, you can really learn a lot by doing so. Uh, then I also enable W extra, which enables a few more flags. And I also always make sure that I enable W error so that all the warnings that occur in the code are treated as errors, which means that the program will not compile unless uh, you fix all the warnings. Some of the other flags I have, in this case, I enable the debugging information. I uh, set the optimization to level three. I use I always use function sections and data sections because especially when you're working with firmware, you uh, want to have uh, the you want to be able to remove code that you're not using. So um, this option in combination with garbage collect sections uh, option passed to the linker uh, makes sure that functions that are not used are not uh, becoming part of the firmware. So the size of, of the firmware can be reduced substantially. Uh, then I use pedantic. Pedantic is actually very good because it's uh, it's a step farther from W extra, and it really just uh, checks the code for um, compliance with the C standard. And I think in general, general, in general, it's like it's better to enable more warnings than to enable too few warnings. It's better to know that something is wrong with a program than to not know it until the program actually runs. Yeah, and if uh, sometimes you can have problems if you enable pedantic when you use GCC extensions and um, this is one of the ways to disable uh, or to to use the GCC extension for example for variadic macros you have GCC extensions which make variadic macros easier to use and um, if you use if, if you enable pedantic GCC will not compile your program uh, but you can use the extension keyword to make sure that you can still use that in some places where where you really want to use it so you get the choice to, to really decide that you want to use it. Then we have um, 
I have disabled these ones because uh, especially unused parameter I don't like that one because sometimes I don't use all the parameters in some functions especially if I have an abstract interface format security is uh, useful for warning about uh, security issues uh, when you use uh, when you use format uh, for printf and string printf and things like that float equal float equal is actually very useful because float equal um, warns about using the equal sign for comparing floats. So if you use the equal sign for comparing floats, that will not always work. It depends on the rounding level. It depends on um, precision. It's like it's it's kind of like creating undefined behavior by using equal sign. What you should instead do is use epsilon and uh, compare floats by subtracting them them and seeing if the uh, if the result is less than a certain number like one to the power of minus six or something like that uh, you can pick an epsilon uh, that you want to use but uh, comparing floats is not a good idea shadow is useful because it warns when you're using a variable in your function that uh, shadows a global variable but because we don't use global variables we don't really need that warning but it's still there because I uh, I put it there when I was working on a project which used glo global variables and it kind of creates confusion when you have a local variable with the same name and then that variable is used and then you think like you assume that the global variable uh, has been changed but in reality it hasn't because there is a local variable. Uh, write strings is for uh, conversions of constant strings into chars and uh, subsequent writes to those strings which will fail if the string is a constant and it's placed in flash uh, on a microcontroller where you cannot just write flash uh, conversion is about conversion is actually about conversion between integers so for example if you have an integer uh, a 32-bit integer and you convert it into a uh, 8-bit integer you want to warn about that conversion because it will create undefined results redundant declarations uh, is useful for uh, warning about uh, several declarations of a function or um, so uh, that is it yeah this is um, the warnings that I use and I find that they they really force me to uh, make sure that I don't write code that uh, that cre that has obvious errors in it and sometimes I miss uh, errors and this warnings catch all those errors so I'm very happy with using them if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and share this video with everybody you know